The object of the game is to play off, pay off as much karma as you can without creating more karma, okay? That's the game, to pay it off as much as you can without creating more karma. That's the way you play the game. How are you going to get off the karma law? Here, right here. I love this. This is the karma law for me. This is all my lifetimes, and I've had plenty. And if you look at this, there's how many different colors? Maybe about five, eight, ten colors here. And this is all what I'm living out right now. This is what I'm living out right now. Now, how am I going to get free from this? I'm going to play the game to win. I'm going to teach you to play the game to win. It's not hard, but it's taking responsibility for your life and doing what is in the best interest of your life. Now, we go on. What will stop the game? Fear. Fear was the thing that I found stopped the game. Stop the game. I was too afraid to do anything different. I was too afraid. I was too afraid to make changes. I wanted to stay in the same pattern that I was in because it was comfortable. And I started to understand I had to walk outside of my comfort zone. Walking outside of your comfort zone is very hard, it's very difficult, but the most rewarding thing you can do is it stretches you. It stretches you and it pushes you. And you become more consciously aware of who you are within. You become stronger. It's all worth it. How do you get back in the game? You face your fears. Understand your fear and move ahead. That's how you get back in it. How do you win? You get off the karmic wheel and advance in consciousness. What do I mean by that? You get off the karma. You know what I found out? I said, God, I give my karma to you. Now you straighten out this ball because I sure don't know how to do it. I give it to you. You straighten it out. You make it possible for me to move in my consciousness. And I will take the responsibility to look at my life and change those things that are mine to change and do it in the best interest of my soul. Not my personality. My personality didn't like any part of it. My personality was an ego that wanted everything for itself. Wanted, would love you, but would want something back in return. And if you didn't give it back to me in return, then I didn't love you. Oh, I had to look at that crappy piece of, of who I was. And I had to decide, are you going to love for the sake of love? And be that unconditional lover that is part we're supposed to be like? That doesn't mean that everybody in the world walks all over me. No. That means I have strength to love and be there for another person without judging them, without condemning them, and allowing them off the wheel. So when I started to know that I had to do that, I started to put together, if you look at what I handed to, how to score points on the common thing. And one of the biggest is you get 100 points, guys, if you forgive. I, I, this is my little game, I have to tell you, but I'm going to tell you it worked for me. And so I'm giving it to you because, you know, maybe, maybe you're going to enjoy it and have some fun with it. Because I was so shocked as I was looking at this that if I forgave, I get 100 points and I gave myself 60 points if I meditated. So I began meditating so I could get 60 points. It's just a game. But it moved me. It moved me forward. I kept track of what I was able to do. When my neighbor came over and was very, very rude to me and was telling me that your daughter 
beat out my son, and she's a naughty little girl. What kind of mother are you? And I remembered, I'm going to get 100 points if I forgive this lady. <laughs> hey, it's worth it. And in a moment, I just looked at her and I said, thank you for telling me about this. And I will certainly do my best to make, make a change. And she was dumbfounded. She didn't know what to say to me. And I was dumbfounded. I said it. <laughs> and I stood back and I thought, whew, wow, I can't believe I did that. Wow, something, something is changing in me. Instead of me saying, what do you mean by saying that about me and my daughter? You don't know who, who I am. You don't know blah, 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 blah. You know, you know, you're going to be nasty to me. I'm going to slam it right back to you. I'm going to show you who's boss. Uh-uh. There's time to step away. And you've got power in stepping away. It's not at all that you are being belittling yourself or anything else like that. Because if you step away and look at it, what you're doing is you're supporting yourself to move forward. Because if I'm nasty to her and she's nasty to me, we are on the karmic wheel, da-da-da-da-da. We are going to go around in this wheel until one of us...